Hi everyone, Dinesh Sarasana here and today we're going to be talking about injections into a Pez Anserine Bursa. As with my previous video, I recommend having the patient in a supine position with the knee bent to 90 degrees. To achieve more stability and comfort for the patient, you can place a support beneath the knee and this will mean that your injections will be much easier to undertake as well. And this is how you can approach the injection. With the transducer in a long axis orientation over the peasant serene bursa, you can introduce the needle either from proximal or distal, depending on your hand dominance. You want to aim at approximately 30 degrees bringing the needle down into the bursa. And then once you're in the bursa, you can aspirate to make sure you haven't injured any vessels. And then you can inject the injectate that you want to use. And this is what you will see on the ultrasound. With the bone beneath, you'll see the tendons attaching on and surrounding it, you may see a hypoechogenic change representative of the bursa. Bringing the needle from a proximal or distal orientation, you want to bring it into the hypoechogenic change, aspirate, and if you don't get any flashback, then you can inject your injectate. You may decide to use a corticosteroid if there's acute pain symptoms or something like PRP. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video informative and it adds to your knowledge of musculoskeletal ultrasound imaging and interventions. If you did, please remember to hit the like down below, subscribe to the channel, and you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Also, remember to check out sportsmedinfo.sg. Thanks again, and I hope to see you all very soon.